Hi everyone, Myra here, and today I want to talk to you about OneNote. So if you're like me, I'm a heavy user of OneNote, and I have a lot of different sections of notebooks and pages that I create for all of my projects, because that's how I keep track of my notes. I discovered this tool that will help you organize your OneNote, um, which is fantastic. It's called OneTastic, and it's free. So OneTastic allows you to organize your uh, OneNote, and it gives you a bunch of other tools that you can do some fun stuff with. So I would begin by downloading uh, the OneTastic add-in for OneNote, and it just creates um, extra tabs, free extra tools for you. It'll create a OneTastic tab and a Macros tab. Then it would, what I would do is, uh, you know, once you download it, you could download the one calendar which places all your uh, one notes into a calendar so you can see when you created it but what i would really do is go head over to macro land and macro land um, has a bunch of different macros that you can use to organize your one note but today i'm going to focus on the table of contents or this toc and there's three of them there's the uh, in current notebook current page and current section so I've downloaded this and installed it onto my OneNote. Let me just drag my OneNote in here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it now. Okay, so um, this is a table of contents that I created using OneTastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. It's gone. Okay, so first of all, people always ask me, how do I organize this? So what I usually do is I will right click somewhere and I create new section groups for every project because um, one project may contain multiple components. So um, like I'll name this uh, new project um, March 2017. I'll put the, the year also. And then within that new project March, I can now create different tabs and different pages. Each, you know, each tab can have a page. Um, and so that's how I organize. So to go back, you just click this arrow, the return arrow. So now with, um, this can get really convoluted and really difficult to search because I have multiple uh, tabs or multiple section groups with multiple sections with multiple pages. And so when I'm looking for something on the fly, a table of content is really useful. So I'm going to use OneTastic, and it creates, like I said, once you install it, you get this. Uh, this is the calendar tool, and this is the OneTastic tool. You can create custom styles. We're really going to focus on the table of content. So um, when I click on it, since I've installed all three, I have the table of content in current notebook, page, and section. We're going to work on this table of content in current notebook. So I'm going to click it, and it's going to open a little pop-up. And so your link generation can be either resilient or fast. I like the fast mode. And then um, I want to do it by section because I don't want to read all the pages that I have in there. I don't want to list the full pages. And I'm going to have it create a new table of content for me in this section. So I'm going to click OK. And it generates my table of content. And then what I like to do is for the section itself, I like to rename it to table of content. So now each of these are clickable links that will take me to a specific session section of my um, OneNote. So if I click, let's say I click New Projects, it'll take me there and I can see all the sections um, and return. And if I add a new section, right, what happens if I add a new section or um, to this and I need to update this table of content? I just go back to Table of Content in Current Notebook and then I would select Sections. But instead of create, I want it to update. Now click OK. And it updates the page, um, my table of content, with the additional section in here. Now let's suppose I wanted a table of content that had all the pages. So what I would do is click on table of content, current notebook, and I would just leave everything as default and click create. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a table of content that contains all the sections and all the pages within the sections. So this can be really big, and you might find this a little bit more useful, um, depending on how many pages and uh, sections you have. I have a ton of them, and so this can get really difficult for me to search. I like a simple search. So anyway, this is how um, OneTastic can help you organize your OneNote. I hope you found this useful.